Okay, so all the stuff that you see right here are materials or household items that you can use to create a improvised uh, splint. Um, you know, you're limited to what your imagination can uh, can bring up or make up. So it ranges anywhere from the blanket to towels, mag magazines, newspapers, cardboard box, and duct tape. And in a minute, I'll show you what are some of the um, splints that you can make with these items. Okay, so this is basically the uh, the splints I made for the uh, from the stuff that I showed you a second ago. So over here you have the magazine with uh, the towel underneath between the skin and the uh, the splint, um, and I used some duct tape just to keep it together. Um, obviously, if it was a split, if it was a um, a forearm, I would use something bigger, like a uh, like a bigger cardboard box or something like that. But this is only for like a, a wrist. Uh, the splint that you see right here is a big box that I had in there, and I had uh, I used the blanket as uh, cushioning between the cardboard and the, uh, the 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 limb. Now the thing was that the the padding isn't really used for comfort. It's really used more for um, is to fill any gap so when you put the the box around you just you don't have any empty space in between uh the, the cardboard and the actual limb so you have all the basically it's kind of like a filler to keep the uh, the appendage from moving around or the displaced uh, fracture from moving around if you see any like uh spacing like you see right here you can stuff it more with some kind of uh um gauze or a towel or a hand towel or something like that just to fill the gap okay but take a wider view of it. That's what it looks like. And there you go. 